What's up machine freaks? I hope everybody's enjoying their global warming day. It's so warm outside and it's not supposed to be like at all. I mean it would be awesome if we saw no snow but at the same time wouldn't it be terrible if New York didn't see snow? I mean come on. What the heck am I thinking? I'm rocking the wrong shoes man. <laughs> Let me talk. I don't have the right shoes on. I like to look classy you guys know but I also like to work. And I'm not gonna throw money away by wearing my nice sneakers and a greasy, grimy mess. We're gonna change. Should've had a V8. Oh, wait a minute, I do. Yeah, I do. Sorry, the person you were trying to reach has a voicemail box. That Come on, Jake the Toilet Snake. Okay, I gotta get fuel. I bought fuel a little bit ago, but I didn't follow my rule. I'll explain in a second. Let's get some fuel first. Making a big mess, but looking good doing it. Thank you. The kid liked my truck. I don't blame him. This is a nice truck. I like it too. As you guys know, I usually fill up my truck all the time. That's my only rule. If I'm getting fuel, I have to fill it up. Last time I came here, the fuel came out extremely slow, extremely slow. I was here for 15 minutes, got four gallons, shut it down. Put the thing back on, left. So that's why I'm still low on fuel. It took so long, that guy got gas before I even... So like I was saying, I started filling up my truck. I wasn't even on empty. A guy pulled up next to me, got fuel, left before I even before I was even done filling up. This thing's got a huge tank, you guys. It's aftermarket. I didn't put it in, the guy before me put it in. Thanks, guy. I believe his name was Zebediah. I like it. Made her home. Oh my goodness, could it be? Is it Jake the Toilet Snake? Hey, I like your new wheels. Yeah, thanks a lot, Mike. Woo. So I'm with I'm with Jake the Toilet Snake. We're in his parents' vehicle. It's a Volkswagen. It's a diesel. It's turbocharged. He's got she's got balls. But uh, we are not using them. We are being responsible adults. Adults, right? That's how some people say it. Adults. We're going to get some parts for his parents' furnace. Uh, I came along because I might have to pick some up as well. We were just out here yesterday. Yeah, just just out here yesterday. Came through here because of the race. Jake enjoyed the race. He's only a little bit sore. Only behind the, the what muscle is that? It's the tricep, right? Yeah. I would say so. Tricep, tricep. You got your bicep on the top, and then you got your tricep on the bottom. He's now even more disappointed in the scoring system. Yeah. Um, he got robbed. Now he got super robbed, right? Yeah. I emailed the lady and. Uh, she said she would look into it. To make a long story short, I'm very disappointed in what she said because she said it's past protest period pretty much, so I can't do anything about it. So I just have to deal with the fact that they're wrong. So what really screws him is he came in fourth place last time on paper, okay? So what he could have done was went to the, the stand and, and asked for a plaque or a trophy or something. He then would be able to send a picture to this chick and say, hey, you know, this is what was on paper. This is, these are the points you're going to give me, but now, no, he's, he's screwed. I mean, he wanted to win stuff, of course. Instead of having 14 points, I only have two. How many points do I have? Don't have six. <laughs> Should have used my name at the last race. Should have. Yeah. Son of a gun. Then what would happen is one of you subscribers would be like, that's Jake the Toilet Snake, not 3D Machine. <laughs> For some reason, GPS's don't really get along with us. At the last two races, the GPS would say, you're here, and there would be nothing around. You would see no motocross track, and no vehicles or anything. You'd have to go like another mile before you saw anything. Now we're trying to find a heating place, and the GPS says, you're here, it's on the left, but we don't see, but we don't see it. And all we see is police vehicles. This, this must be a hop in town, man. Yeah, well, I've seen about six cops already <laughs> going Mach 90. There's one right there. It's hidden, you guys. That's why we didn't see it. Where's the parking? All right. 
Let's, let's park in the shade. This is nice. Oh, I think we're supposed to almost come from that little road over there. You think so? Yeah. Holy smokes. Those he, you? These guys must see this they nice. must do terrible business. <laughs> you can't even find the place. <laughs> it's like going on Google and then resulting on like the 13th page. Nobody's gonna go that far. What the heck? Are you kidding me? This is so sketchy. Unless we're supposed to get it from the kitchen and bath place. Okay. Dude, I don't know about this. We're in the middle of Buffalo. And we're going out back. No, Are you packing? You better be packing. I don't know how I feel about this, Jake. Oh, we'll be good. We better be. We'll go right in there. Who's the faster runner? We just got our part. Unfortunately, they didn't have my part. We are literally living yesterday all over again. Uh, now we're getting something to eat. Get the shot. You're gonna see it. 870. Stealthy. I need the receipt. Do you have a receipt or no? Huh? Receipt? Receipt? Yeah. Give me the bag. Okay. A cup of water. Oh, how about a cup of water? A cup of water? Yeah. Okay. And, right. and some napkins. We got ketchup. We got ice cream ketchup. Have barbe <laughs> a barbecue sauce. He, he put sweet and sour. I'm going to tell him you change your mind. I want a barbecue sauce. Hey, my friend, he actually changed his mind. Can we have a barbecue sauce instead of a sweet and sour? Yeah, yeah. Oh, is there? Yeah. Uh, well. Thank you. What are you doing there? Well, you got like yeah, 16 extra things for free. <laughs> That's a deal. I can take a left, but I don't know how you're gonna make a left. I can make a left. So you got it. Oh, here, get this stuff. Yeah, I like, got all this stuff. Make he's sure like you're... there's two in there. <laughs> <laughs> Just. <laughs> Well, we, we, I seen two sweet and sour, so why would he give us two sweet and sours? All right, now just make sure that Frosty doesn't spill anywhere, because oh, your good. parents wouldn't be too happy about that. That's good. After that, we'll cover. Oh yeah. Go oh, man. Well, Jake, it was fun. I enjoyed lunch. I enjoyed the ride. Thank you for getting me back safely. Oh no problem. I really appreciate it. I'll, I'll even take the garbage. Oh cool. I need to get my parts though. All right, buddy. We'll see you later. Have fun. I might see you at work tonight. Okay, let's try this again. I'm filled up, I'm ready to go. I went with Jake to see if I could find some parts, but unfortunately the place we went to didn't carry it, and Jake didn't really have enough time to go anywhere else because he has to go to work, and I didn't know that, so that's why I thought, you know, if I went with him, then I could get something. We'll have to get him another day. I still got to eat lunch with Jake the Toilet Snake. Good time. I'm at Jake's, I'm going to pick up my trailer. Oh, that's over there, son of a gun. I missed the turn. Jake and Seth actually ended up taking my trailer last night, as you guys saw at the end of the yesterday's video. Those guys are awesome. Now what you didn't see is them unloading, and I don't know how that ended up working, but they do have the bikes off the trailer, and the trailer's parked over there, and it wasn't stolen, so that's awesome. I love when my stuff's not stolen. My stuff's my stuff. There she is, looking good. And look at that. They even gave me a, a load. To the average eye, this might look like junk, but it's not junk. But these are some nice pieces of wood. Granted, they have some nails in them and some of the pieces need to be lopped off in certain areas, but you know, this is building material. Like you can seriously do stuff with this and it was free. Seth hooked us up. Seth. I really appreciate it. I'm looking directly into the sun for this shot for you. That should show my appreciation. Freeze free, brand used. I love brand used stuff. I have brand used tires. I have brand used building supplies. I got, I got a brand used truck. The brand used lifestyle is amazing. 3D machines approved. This is an adapter that goes from my truck to the lights. I don't think Seth needs one of these. I think he can hook this right up. Some vehicles you can, some vehicles you can't. Ladies and gentlemen, we are locked and loaded and ready to kick some butt. Or haul some wood. Jake's upstairs right now. 
I just came down to look at the bikes real quick. Look at how clean these bikes are. Like there was absolutely no mud yesterday at the race. That's why I'm really regretting not choosing to go and not being able to go. And same thing with Jake's bike. Like it's not even dirty. The biggest pain when dirt biking is the dirt and the mud after you ride. And to clean all that crap out of all the nooks and crannies on the bike. But these guys don't have to worry about that at all. Jake ended up losing his Bark Buster. He says he's got another one around here, so hopefully he'll be back in business. But I wanna see, I just wanted to look real quick if he got the barbed wire out of his thing. Yep, he got the barbed wire out. That's good, he had a piece of barbed wire from the race in between the caliper. And you guys know how barbed wire is like really crusty? Like it's always rusty. You never find brand new barbed wire, at least, at least in my experience, unless you go to the store and buy it off the shelf. It was wearing the barbed wire out that it actually shined like brand new metal. And there's actually, I wonder if one of these streaks is from the barbed wire. 